We're going to continue talking about art today, specifically urban sketching. A Taunton artist has decided to sketch the new coal orchard area in the town. Neil Whitehead, who is the urban landscape artist, is actually in the studio with me now. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. So has this been, up until now, your career, being an artist? No, it's 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 my happy hobby. Oh, so is it? it keeps me sane. It has done through the, the last few kind of turbulent years, should we, should we say. Um, so it's, it's my weekend pursuit, really, um, out and about with sketchbook pursuing urban sketching so that is, is drawing on location um you know getting expressive with the paints and and, and the pens quite quick quick fast and fluid uh, and it's great just to you know, document where you live so i've you know i've, I've lived southeast uh, london based and now kind of southwest the last 15 years so um yeah something i really enjoy is a good passion and, and it helps the, the work-life balance just to find a little further i mean i know it's always great talking about art on the radio but mm. just to find a little further what urban art actually is it's uh so it's essentially the urban sketching manifesto is is about drawing on location in the towns and cities you live in or it might be in a, in a more rural location but it's about documenting being like a more of a reportage kind of documentary of of what you see your experiences um kind of getting away from the use of a camera because everyone's got a great camera in their pocket now but not everyone can create that kind of that personal element which sketching offers and it's a much more uh, intimate kind of commentary on on where you live and, and and how you perceive where you live you know i love the the architecture that's that sort of drives me and just that kind of that feel of, of the urban space. What are the materials that you use? Very basic. I, I've got a, a small sketchbook I take out with me, um, a few fine liners, uh, and some watercolour paints. And that's it? Yeah, absolutely. So how do you, as an artist, see Taunton when you do visit the town? You're, you're sitting there, you're watching the world go by. How do you perceive it? It's, for me, I, I like the quirky, look at the back streets, so walking around like the independent quarter or... Just trying to recapture the kind of the shop fronts that you might normally walk past, but actually, if you think actually that's been there for a hundred years, possibly. So there's so much hist rich history. So maybe staying off the main high street from an urban sketcher because I love the the juxtaposition of perspective and people and, and color, and then and then I like to have fun with the sketches. So I'm mean, we're quite expressive with my with a bold blue skies. I'm a, ideally a fair weather sketcher, but uh, <laughs> I think has been. probably most of us <laughs> would be if we had the talent. And, and, and I suppose you get to see changes over the course of time to Taunton. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's this remarkable changes, certainly in the landscape with the coal orchard, which is you know, looking fantastic. But even just, you know, walking through up by the, the, the castle um, and all areas of town, which over the time have different shop fronts and, and different kind of areas of, of, of popularity. Mm. Um, do you think that, and I think you hit the nail on the head, you're the one that stops and actually looks. We're all a bit too busy going by our day so quite a lot does pass us by yeah absolutely i mean it, and it's not I'm, I'm not sat there for hours on the end i might be there for 25 minutes but actually you just you take in the kind of the essence of, of the of the day and, it, and for me it's all about the rhythm that's that's what brings the artful element to it so it's not all about a, a photographic representation Let, let's bring in you know the, the color schemes that we've seen in the day or, or even your how your emotions are that day that influences the sketch so yeah, it might be a, a wash with a, a dark brown, or it might be a bright blue. Mm. What do you make? I mean, we've spoken about Taunton, lots of our town centres on the programme before, and quite often I get messages from people saying, oh, Taunton has lost so much. It's not the county town that it used to be. Mm -hmm. Do you think we do need to peel back some of that that beauty and bring it to the forefront again? And, it, and is that possible in this day and age? Yeah, I think it, it requires a, a positive mindset. I think now you're seeing... The, the brilliant new gallery up by the Coral Orchard that's opened up and, and the amount of talent and individuality that actually exists under the surface of Taunton. It, all it takes is just push yourself out of that comfort zone, explore the new the new streets, new roads, the new shops, and, and you'll understand that there's there's a real amount of creativity and that, that's what we need as a, as a town because we're not a city. You know, it's, um, yeah, let's, let's um, build on what we've got. Yeah, just having a look at your website now. If you go to neilwhitehead.co.uk, this is where you can see uh, your work. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Thank and you. almost the, the jagged lines that you have. So it's, you know, it's not straight, it's not perfect, no. but that's life, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Again, it's not a... 
a photographic representation. This is this is pure emotion. So uh, you know, there's there's good days and bad days. Yeah, <laughs> you've got actually a video of you drawing in your sketchbook. Does this show a whole drawing from start to finish? <clears throat> Predominantly, it's, it's, there's a lot of sketches in there, so I, I get a lot of challenges online, so I, I exercise sometimes a continuous line drawing, so the pen stays on the paper, and that helps you draw fast. It means you're not stuck in town for, for an hour drawing. It, it's a 10-minute sketch, so you get, you get the, the impression of the scene. That's amazing. I'm, I'm literally just watching it now. Kelly, we may be late to the news. Um, but no, I'm watching it now. And actually, it's one of the things, if we look at the world of social media now, TikTok's massive for artists. Yeah. You know, I've sat and just watched people drawing for hours who I don't know, they're around the world. Do you yeah. find that actually interest in art, it, it's, I don't know, is it bigger than it ever has been? I, I think massively over the last, since COVID, I think that that kind of appreciation of, of, of a hobby and an art has, has gone th through the roof. Yeah, so yeah. the urban sketching scene is, is, is a monster now across the world. Tell us where people can obviously see what you've done with uh, Cole Orchard uh, and the areas in, in town. So predominantly, most of my work goes through Instagram. So um, well, my handle is, is NKDraw, so that's e -double -N -K -A -Y Draw, which is a bit of a, a convoluted <laughs> old name. But uh, so if you search Neil Whitehead Arts on Instagram, you'll, you'll also find me. It's stunning. It really is. What's next? What's next, really? So I've got I've got some work in a gallery. So I got approached uh, a couple of months ago by a gallery in Norfolk, who love my kind of pieces. So I've worked up some of those into A3 kind of originals. So they're currently on show at the Holt Gallery in, in Norfolk. Amazing. Um, and then I've been invited to do various workshops in the Southwest. And I'm also in talks to do a workshop in Switzerland. Oh, my word. So yeah, that's gone, that's gone a bit uh, crazy. Yeah, so we'll see how that kind of pans out. But um, all, all kind of things in the fire and you know again for me it's, it's, it's that balance between the, the day job and, and the, the art and that, mm. that's where that's where I'm really happy. Well it's lovely to meet you thank you so Pleasure. much do visit the website neilwhitehead.co.uk local artist uh, doing big things so stay tuned nice to meet you thank you best of luck with everything uh, that's Neil there stay tuned